Okay, Louisa. I need to sort a few things out with you. I think it's best that we meet your parents before you both get married. I feel like that's only fair. I asked my son about doing this, but he wasn't very clear about it. Is there some reason why this can't be done before the ceremony? This is kinda hard to say this about my own family, but... We're quite well known in the city. So I think it's only polite that this happens. I think it's only right to follow the correct wedding traditions. So that we aren't stressing about things too much. Don't you think so, Louisa? Oh, Mr. West. Good evening to you, sir. Thank you for reaching out to me about your concerns. I do understand what you're talking about. Okay, well, I thought that Thomas would have told you about the current situation so we can do the meeting of the parents because, well, I don't have any. The person who raised me, my uncle, he's currently busy as he's traveling overseas. But apparently he'll be able to make it in time for the wedding, which is good. He won't be able to return home until the day before, so we will see him at the wedding. I hope that we can all have a meal together after all the festivities are over. Oh, wow. So it was true after all. Wow. I never thought that my intuition would actually work when it came to something like this. <laughs> I'm sorry? Sir, I'm not quite sure if I'm following, but what do you mean by it's true after all? Well, it's true that you don't have any parents, right? That you're indeed an orphan. Is it really true that people like you grow up in foster care facilities? Yes, that's right. I suppose when you put it that way, yes, they're usually in the foster care system. Things get around really fast then with your family since you would have heard this from Thomas. I do apologize that I didn't have time to say it all myself, but this is a very last minute that this is being brought up. But what's good about it is that I have an uncle who is basically my substitute parent anyway, so everything's okay. What on earth are you talking about, you silly girl? You know that I don't really care that you have an uncle that raised you. I'm, I'm sorry, sir? I don't see how me having an uncle as my parent is a problem. I don't have any parents, so someone had to raise me, right? You of all people should know that the fact that you were more or less raised in a foster care facility is quite a problem. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I don't know why my son chose a woman like you. It makes no sense. It would be a bit embarrassing for us to have a woman who grew up in foster care come into our family. Didn't you think you had an obligation to tell me as soon as possible? Why was this kept from me for so long? You think me being in the foster care system is going to make your family embarrassed? I never thought of such a concept like that at all. What do you even mean that you'd be embarrassed by me being in the family? I'm just like everyone else, but I started my life differently. Well, of course it's impossible to get someone as low as you are in society to understand our thoughts and feelings. Don't you see how embarrassing it is to be brought up in a dirty and broken down foster care system and then to marry into an upper class family like us? Don't you understand that this is just common sense? Do they not teach common sense at foster care or anything? Excuse me, Mr. West, but I don't think that's what common sense is. What's so wrong with foster care facilities? I would have been on the street if it weren't for them. Since my time there, I've completed my education and I'm also employed. I don't see how this is a big deal for you. I was one of the lucky ones who didn't have a problem with the facility I was in. I grew up just fine, so how is there a problem, sir? Maybe that's just the case for you in the world that you live in. You think that everything is fine. It's different according to my family standards. I should have said this way before now, but I didn't find out about your situation until it was too late. This is very much a problem for my family. Okay, well, I apologize for not talking about my family matters earlier. 
I've not had an opportunity to have such a deep conversation with either of my fiancé's parents. I feel like I haven't had much time to speak up until now, so I just couldn't say what I wanted to say about my life and things like that. I guess the reason why you thought it would be better to hide such matters was because you're embarrassed about your childhood. <laughs> That's not it at all, sir. I've never been remotely embarrassed about how I was raised. Besides, I couldn't help the situation I was in. Oh, is that so? Then I suppose your way of thinking is fundamentally different to mine and my family's thinking. I've got the ability to understand whether or not you'd be suitable for our family or not. Pardon me, sir, but I don't understand what you mean by that. How can your family's thinking be any different to any other family unit? You should have known of the situation that you were getting into with my family. If we knew where you came from, we wouldn't be having this problem. I'm sorry, sir, but I still don't understand why you're being like this towards me. I just want to marry your son with no issues. Look, please excuse me. I need to sort out some of my other business right now. I won't be replying to you after this message. Hello, my niece. I'm sorry that we couldn't figure out a date to meet up with your fiancé's parents. I wasn't able to come back home due to overlapping meetings, which has been such a pain. But I'll definitely be home the day before the wedding. So once I get back, let's all have dinner together and get to know one another a bit better. How does that sound? Hi, Uncle Thomas. Thank you for letting me know what's going on. I also wanted to thank you for always taking care of me. Of course. You're my family. So we look out for each other, and support one another. But, how come you're saying this all of a sudden? What's going on? Is everything alright over there? Is there anything that I can do before I meet your fiancé's parents? Uncle, you were still so young when you took me in. You were only in your 20s. It's so young to take on a big responsibility like raising a child. But you worked hard and you created a successful business, which allowed me to live a nice and comfortable life. I can't thank you enough for that. Okay. I thought something might be off with you. Why are you speaking about this all of a sudden? Louisa, please tell me what's going on. I just wanted to say that now that I'm an adult, you can be free of me and my burdens. You don't have to worry about me anymore. From now on, just live for yourself, Uncle Thomas. You don't have to worry about a thing anymore. Louisa, I know that when you act this way and say these things to me that there's something wrong. Really, what's going on? Everything's okay. I raised you because I care and love my family, and I wouldn't change a thing about it. I was successful thanks to the business my brother left behind. In other words, it's thanks to your father that we could live the way we did. But I know it took a long time to get you out of the foster care system. I'm really sorry that it took me three years to get you out. I tried my best to fight for the custody of you, even though I was your guardian if your parents weren't around. But I was fine in the facility. I was able to make friends with some of the other kids. I just want to say thank you, Uncle Thomas, for getting me out, too. You know, I should be the one thanking you, Louisa. I was grateful that you took the situation so well, and that you overcome all the sad things that happened to you. But I feel like it's all my fault that you missed out on the chance to get married and start your own family. I feel so bad for doing that. Actually... I've been meaning to tell you that I'm thinking about getting married soon, too. Wait a minute, what? Have you been dating someone? Is this for real, Uncle? You're ready to get married? I'll say. It's not because of you deciding to get married, though. I won't give you all the credit. <laughs> it's the result of me thinking about my future life as well. Even though this might be happening, if you have any problems in the future, you can always rely on me, Louisa. 
Oh my God, this is such great news, uncle. Congratulations on your marriage. I'm really happy that you've made this decision for yourself. Oh, really? You're happy for me? You don't mind that I do this, do you? It's very much been on my mind for a while. I just wanted to make sure you were okay with it. Of course I am. We're family, so I'm naturally going to be happy for you. Thank you for telling me, though. It's nice to be kept in the loop. I'm sure we'll talk a lot about this when you get back home again soon. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you. I better get back to these wedding preparations. Please be safe on your travels on your way home. I'll see you real soon, Uncle. I need to have a little discussion with you, Louisa. So, I've been talking to my son Joshua about this whole marriage to you. We'll not be going through with this wedding ceremony today. It's officially been cancelled. Mr. West, uh, pardon my language, but what the heck are you saying? Why on earth is the ceremony being cancelled? Did something happen at the venue? No, nothing like that. Look, we all came to the same conclusion that it's embarrassing to have a wife who grew up in a foster care facility. So we've broken the deal for you and Joshua to get married. <laughs> As I said to you before in previous messages, we can't have a woman in our family who embarrasses us. It would affect my business if the people at my company were to find out how you used to live. It wouldn't be a good look at all. Please just hold on a minute, Mr. West. Are you being serious right now? You're calling off my wedding to Joshua and you're only telling me this now? Of course I'm being serious, you stupid little girl. It's already been decided that we'll cancel the wedding. If you're doubting what I say, why don't you talk to Joshua about it? Are you telling me that even Joshua is okay with this happening? That his own father is canceling his wedding? He told me that there's no point in marrying you. It would be meaningless. It seems that knowing that you grew up in foster care caught his attention. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening right now. And he's turned around and said this on our wedding day? Don't you know how much this hurts me? Oh, yes. Well, it's a shock to all of us, to be honest with you. Also, one more thing. You're going to have to pay the cancellation fee as well. Huh? You want me to pay for something that I didn't even cancel? Are you kidding me? Mr. West, how is that fair when you're the ones doing all of the decision making? Well, originally, you hid the fact that you grew up in a foster care institution. You're the one that lied to us, so it's only natural for you to pay us back. I suppose that people that grew up in these type of facilities not have common sense. <laughs> I thought you would understand something as straightforward as this. Why are you putting me down so much just because I grew up in a foster home? You're just being really horrible for no apparent reason. Mr. West, you have no idea of my story, and what you're saying is too much. I honestly think there's no point in me saying anything anymore to you. Because you just don't make the effort to understand that everyone grows up differently and aren't as well off as people like you. I suppose I'll submit to your wishes, then. I'm also really tired of pushing myself any further with this nonsense. I won't stand for it anymore. I won't be letting you charge me a cancellation fee. It's not fair, and I wasn't the one who canceled my own wedding in the first place. It was all on you and your family, so you can pay for it. Fine. If you're going to be this way, you can take it up with my lawyer. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't have the money to afford your own lawyer. Huh? Do you really think that about me, Mr. West? If you're going to take things this far, then I'll also take care of things at my end as well. Why don't you just give in? <laughs> There's really nothing you could do about this anyway. You can't help that you were put into a foster home. 
and in the end, affected your reputation. I'm sorry, but we just can't possibly have someone of your background in our family, so just please pay the cancellation fee for the wedding. <laughs> Fine. If you're going to treat my niece this way, then we're calling off the deal for her to marry your son too. Excuse me? Who the heck is this? You can't just hijack Louisa's phone and tell me what to do. How rude of you! Who do you think you are? I'd be Louisa's uncle. My name is Thomas. How dare you speak to my niece the way you have been? You've got no idea what she's been through. Wait a minute. What did you just say? This is Louisa's uncle? Since when did you get back into the country again? Let me guess. You're the one who raised her? You're the parent that she never had, right? Don't you think you're a bit late in showing up to this disaster of a day? I suppose you're the benefactor in all of this since you agreed to take her in after she was living in the foster care facility? I didn't know people like you existed. Look, my family talked about it and decided that it wasn't suitable for her to be married into the family. <laughs> the deal's off and you're too late. <laughs> so, it's basically like I said before. The deal is also off the table for us too. We don't want to be around your horrible family. How dare you talk to me like that? What's your deal, man? I haven't got a clue what you're talking about right now. I was also planning to get married to a relative of yours, Mr. West. Didn't you know that? I was going to marry your cousin, Stephanie. Hold on. What? How do you know Stephanie? What's that got to do with me? Why on earth would she even want to marry someone as rude as you? Well, her and I were supposed to get married. But I guess that won't fly with your upper-class family now, will it? It deals off with her, too. What kind of person would say something so cruel to my niece? Just because she was in foster care, it doesn't mean she can't be successful. I really can't imagine her marrying into a horrible family like yours, Mr. West. So if you'll excuse me, I'm not wasting our time talking to you. Uh, please just hold on a minute there, Thomas, okay? How do you know about Stephanie's proposal? I don't understand what you're talking about. This is Louisa. My uncle just wanted to say that to you so that he could confront you rather than talk through me. Louisa, what the heck is going on here? Please explain everything to me so that I can understand what's happening. Stop messing around so much. So apparently my uncle had decided to marry one of your relatives through the in-laws or something. I also knew of this proposal. Your family used to run a company with other relatives, right? The company was having financial difficulties due to the lack of funds, right? Huh? Where is this information coming from? How does a stupid little girl know what's going on and not me? What are you saying? I'll be more upfront with you now, Mr. West. My uncle is actually super rich, you see? He was planning on providing a loan to your family to help with the money issues. But now, because he knows how you've been treating me and putting me down, it seems he's decided to cancel his own marriage as well. I do, however, feel a little bit responsible that he can't go through with this marriage, but I guess it's his own decision and I'm not entirely to blame, I suppose. Whoa, we need to rewind back a little bit. Are you telling me that your uncle is loaded? Why didn't you tell me this before all of this mess happened? There's no way this is happening. So are you and your uncle like millionaires or something? He's not Thomas Watson, is he? I guess when you put it that way, yes, my uncle certainly is. But I don't see how his money would change the situation you're in right now. I guess this really is a shock to the system for you, Mr. West. 
My last name is also Watson. I'm surprised you didn't notice that earlier, sir. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me right now. This must be some sort of joke. You're just trying to prank me, aren't you? It must be a coincidence, surely. I suppose it's a coincidence, but to be honest, you just didn't pay attention to the finer details. <laughs> That's why your family went to him for a loan. Also, my uncle intends on cancelling any future business partnerships with your family's company, by the way. What the heck? What are you talking about? You can't just go and make a decision like that. There needs to be a discussion about this. Look, I had no idea that you had a close relative who was financially stable and knew his way in the world. I heard that you were raised in an institution. I heard a totally different story than from what's being said right now. It's not right to twist this all on me and my family. A different story? I've hardly mentioned about having no relatives, okay? I only mentioned that I was raised by my uncle. You're the one who made his own assumptions without even hearing the details about where I grew up. That's your own fault, Mr. West. I wasn't abandoned because my parents were poor and couldn't look after me or anything along those lines. My parents died in a car accident. Whoa, what? You're telling me that your parents died when you were younger? They really didn't abandon you or anything like that? My uncle was still quite young at the time, so he couldn't take me in right away. He saved up some money so that he could afford to keep me in his home. He also got his business up and running, and it's been really successful in the past few years. Then he came and picked me up and looked after me. After that all happened, I was able to live a happy and comfortable life thanks to my uncle. What the heck? I never heard that side of the story. Surely that's not what actually happened, is it? Why do you think I've never told you anything about myself? You were never going to believe anything I said and would constantly judge me for my past. Even if I were to tell you all the details, you still would have fixated a false story in your mind, wouldn't you, Mr. West? Because you look down on people like me, don't you? That's all I can say about you, Mr. West. You're just snobby and think that everyone is below you. You act like you're the best human on the planet. But it was Joshua who told me that you grew up in a foster care facility. He was the one who led me to believe the things that I did about you. It's his fault. Well, I did for a little while, so it's true. I can't help that you took it so literally, okay? But I don't really know the details of what Joshua actually told you. I guess the only words that he heard me say to him is that I grew up in a foster home and then he zoned out for the rest of the conversation. But you're the one who jumped to conclusions and didn't listen to the full story of what someone says. You just let your mind do what it likes. I never said anything about me, my life, and I wouldn't because I thought you would judge me like you're doing now. Okay, I have had enough of this. That's enough nonsense, Louisa. I get it, all right? You've said more than I've needed to hear. I really had no idea that you were part of the Watson family unit. I wish that you had told me that sooner. If you said that you weren't a poor beggar, I would have let you get married. I'll go and tell Joshua about what you just told me. Then the wedding can go ahead as planned, and you both can live happily after. What on earth are you talking about? You're trying to reverse the cancellation of the wedding ceremony? Seriously, I refuse to do anything. Wait, what do you mean? Why would you refuse this? You can now marry the man of your dreams. You can marry my son like you wanted. You've given me unreasonable demands, barked orders at me, and canceled my own wedding because of your judgmental attitude towards my upbringing. Then you had the audacity to tell me that I needed to pay for the cancellation fee. Do you know how insane those extreme actions are? And yet, instead of taking my side, Joshua put his tail between his legs and follows everything his incompetent father says. Do you get what I'm saying? My love for your son has completely frozen over now. There's no way that I want to marry a man who doesn't stand up for me. It's not happening. 
So, does that mean you're not going to marry Joshua? But Joshua can give you anything you wanted. I don't get it. Joshua is telling me that it's fine for you both to get married now. And that you've got nothing to worry about. Just get back with my son. I've only got nothing to worry about now because you actually know who my uncle is and think that you can get the money that your family needs. I'm not a person that can just go ahead and do something when someone else says to marry them. I've got my own thoughts and feelings and they're saying no. I'll marry someone who wants to marry me for me and doesn't get blinded by other people's opinions. Therefore, this marriage is over. I'm done with Joshua. Why are you being so unreasonable right now, Louisa? How could you be like this to my son? I'm giving you a second chance here. What's going to happen to the loan that your Uncle Thomas was going to give our family business? Were you not listening before? My uncle is also breaking off his engagement, but he does want to clear up the loan issue. He said there's no deal. Are you joking? So he's not going to help with the financial issues? Doesn't he get the lengths that my family has gone to so that we can succeed? Oh, he knows, but he'd rather not do business with you after the way I was treated. I think that's fair. <laughs> I suppose you don't understand what's going on. You're being told this is going to hurt, and I suppose your reputation will be tarnished. Of course, we also want you to pay for the cancellation fee. Since it was your idea and your decision to cancel the wedding, we'd really appreciate your cooperation and understanding. <laughs> what? You're going to make us pay for the cancellation fee? That's so not fair. You lied to us. We had no choice in the matter. That's such an unreasonable request. We're now saying that you both can go and get married now. Why won't you take up this offer? Again, you were the ones that canceled it in the first place, all right? That's why it'll remain canceled. This wedding isn't going ahead. Even though you tell me now that we can get married and that you'll give us your blessing, it's still too late. The wedding ceremony has already been canceled and I am sure the staff will be packing up the venue right about now. It's what you wished for, Mr. West. But that's not fair. We're trying to take this all back. Are you really going to make us pay for the entire cancellation fee? Yes, and you will with no more complaints. By the way, for ruining my uncle's marriage, your family may be asked to pay for some compensation. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say to me? Compen- What on earth for? I didn't do anything remotely bad to your uncle. Hey, you know the damage you've caused is enormous, Mr. West. We've done nothing wrong here. It's all on you. <laughs> I'm not responsible for any of this. I was misled by my own son, and he made me jump to conclusions. Your uncle can't go and ask for money from us. You sabotaged two weddings. I think he's got a right to ask for some sort of compensation. Just cooperate with us so that you won't get sued. Sued? Okay, no. This has gone far enough now, Louisa. Your family can't just do this to my family. Please, I'm begging you, don't let your uncle do this. He can do what he likes, Mr. West. You'll be hearing from his lawyer soon enough, so don't worry about that. <laughs> just pay up and you can move on with your miserable lives. Maybe you should go and get some lessons on how to fix your attitude to people who actually matter in society. Goodbye, Mr. West. You're the worst scumbag I've ever met. <laughs> In the end, both Louisa's marriage and Uncle Thomas's marriage deals broke down. The West family's plans were completely ruined, and there was no way they could fix what they had done to the Watsons. Apparently, Mr. West's family hated him, and he was done for. It seems that he'll no longer have a position at the company, and he'll be forced to retire. He did really bring this on himself. It was going to happen at one point or another. 
It also seems that Joshua tried to beg Louisa to get back with him. But apparently, she already had blocked him from sending messages to her. It's a mystery what Joshua wanted to say to Louisa. She once again thanked her uncle for his help. It was a good idea that he built up his career so that now they can live a good life. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this.